So what are we doing today? We're going to do a couple of upgrades on this EVH Wolfgang Standard. Again, this is the uh, Desert Sunset, I believe is the name of it. And you can see the blue, if you look hard, it's kind of reminiscent of a night sky, I guess. You know, kind of looks like it's black, maybe. Turns into a blue. Hmm. Sunset, there you go. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I've already taken the the uh, locking plates here off, along with the uh, locking screws. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace these uh, with these. Uh, these are stainless steel locking screws, all right? And we're also going to upgrade the springs. Again, this is from Effutone. Uh, these are the... Uh, they have different gauges of springs that you can order and uh, these are just the standard I believe uh, so and we're gonna put some new strings on it uh, we got the Ernie Ball string winder which is very cool power peg pro very cool if you don't have one of those also this tool right here I got from FU tone so the the uh, short part the Allen wrench you just you know unscrew and then the long part you use down here and it makes things really 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 uh, convenient get on futone.com to look at all of this stuff if you want it's worth the money i'm telling you it's great stuff so we got to get started we got to take these strings off first and take the back plate off and get everything replaced so here we go all right so what we're going to do first is we're going to take our strings off all right and the old ernie ball power peg pro really cool thing to have you just pull the trigger up to loosen the string or push it up i should say of course it's too directional here's the tool i was talking about right here so you just Pop it right in here and twist it. Man, look at that. It's so convenient. So much better than using a small Allen wrench or Allen tool. It just you know, depends on where you're from, I guess. Wow, these things, they weren't that tight. That's kind of kind of odd. But um, like I said, this is the first time I've changed strings on this thing. I mean, when you have let's just say more than 10 guitars it uh <laughs> changing strings starts to be a thing i'm gonna take this back off on it it's just habit that i put that on there so you just lift these out man See hey there? man we're in the car we're heading to work look we're <laughs> excuse the windshield it needs to be clean we ain't had no rain in a few days but anyway i went ahead and just wanted to put this in the middle of the video here because uh, when I was filming this stuff earlier uh, I thought the camera was recording when I was changing out the springs on the guitar well turned out that it wasn't and I, I didn't find that out until after the fact so I apologize uh, anyway if you want to change your springs on the back cavity of your guitar you want to change out one at a time and uh, what I normally do is I take a pair of needle nose and grab it almost at the top and then once you grab it with your needle nose just pull it and take it right off the little post that's all you do and then put on your new one you know you want to replace you don't want to take them all off and then I mean you can but if you do one at a time it's easier as far as the tension and stuff um, and if you tone makes a tool it's like this long uh, it's got this round thing at the top you put your finger in and, and it's got a little hook at the end to me it looks like a something you'd see in a dentist office you know it's uh kind of odd but it's it's you know and you're supposed to be able to grab the uh round part of the spring and put it on its post well i bought one and the first time i used it it broke at the hook it, it broke so i just slung it over the, and, and it's, i think it's underneath my amp so but i've always used a pair of needle nose pliers and it's worked fine you just have to be careful when you grip 
the spring with the needle nose that you don't lose the grip on the uh, the spring because then the your needle nose pliers are going to come together and pinch you on the hand or whatever and it can be quite unpleasant but uh it's very simple to replace the springs and again i apologize that you know i thought it was recording and it wasn't and as you can see i'm heading to work so you know i'm always in a time crunch here you know it's hard to it's hard to have uh, time during the week to do these videos you know um but uh, anyway, that's how you change out the springs. Uh, FU Tone has different um, different levels of springs, if you will. Uh, the yellow ones that I put on are kind of like the the uh, lo lowest tension, I guess. The regular, it'd be regular, I guess. Uh, if you go on FUTone.com, you can see what I mean. They have like the from the yellow up, you know, um, and then I think there's like white and purple or whatever but those you know red those springs they have more and more tension uh, above the yellow ones so and I don't want uh, I don't know about anybody else but I can't stand a Floyd Rose that you have to take your whole uh, body weight and push down on the bar to make the whammy bar work I just I can't do that you know so uh, I had to put I went to put just two of the springs on. Originally, my the Wolfgang standard that I'm working on in this video, when I took the back cover off, it had two springs, like like this. Okay, so I replaced one at a time, like I said, and then when I went to tune it up, I looked. You always look at your Floyd Rose and make sure it's flush with the body. Make sure it's not like this. If it's like that, that's bad. So I had to loosen the strings, and it came back down and I had to put that third spring on. So now there's three springs in the back cavity and, and it's fine, it's fine. It puts a little bit more tension on the whammy bar when you wanna do a dive bomb, but like I said, these springs aren't high tension, so it's okay, it's still, it's still fine. Um, so that's why there's no video of me replacing the springs because uh, it didn't record. Uh, it started recording and I must've got a, I was using a different app to record, so I think what had happened, a phone call must have come through something, and it cut the recording off, and I didn't see that, because I'm looking at the guitar, and then when I look back up, I just, I still see what it looks like to be, you know, a video being recorded, and, uh, but it wasn't, so, uh, I do apologize for that, I'm sorry, let's get back to the video, and, and, uh, it, people have asked me before in videos, uh, does it make a difference doing this as far as the sound? I feel that it does. I feel that it does make a difference um, But to each their own. That's just my opinion. I'm not a professional or nothing like that I'm just a weekend warrior if you will So there you go, man, with the upgrades, with the new springs uh, and the uh, stainless steel locking screws. It's a really cool thing, man, if you need to do some upgrades to your guitar, and it's reasonable, too. So see you next time.